Hello everyone, it's Michael V with Hypertherm, working on my 51 Mercury again today. I'm going to show you some pretty cool tricks I've, uh, I've learned over the last couple years playing with these uh, machines. And um, to this, today I'm going to build a, uh, a seat back for the inside of the car. It was, uh, it was pretty tore up, I'm replacing all the sheet metal. I'm going to show you some of the tricks that I, I've learned on how to uh, cut out odd shapes and, uh, and use uh, templates and so on. Okay, so I've repositioned the camera and uh, what I've done is I've went ahead and made a, a template of what I need out of construction paper. You can buy this uh, just about anywhere and it works out pretty well when you're doing sheet metal work. And this is going to be the outside driver seat back. I'll take you into the car a little later and show you exactly how I made this and then how to create this part. So once I, uh, once I cut this out of this uh, construction paper, I simply laid it on my 16 gauge sheet metal and went ahead and traced around it with uh, the ever popular Sharpie. These things are awesome. So anyhow, this is what it looks like right now. I'm going to go ahead and start cutting on it here in a minute, but I did make some, some, uh, some interesting uh, tools to help me with this. Um, number one, I always use my most favorite tool here, and this is a uh, magnetic uh, straight edge. Um, it's available through Flange Wizard Tools. Um, these pieces will come off. Uh, you can make the, this as long as you want it or as short as you, long, as, as you want it. You can also buy these separate. Um, I enjoy this. Uh, we're supplied uh, at Hypertherm with these uh, as sales reps. Um, I've also been able to make curves and things with these, uh, these brackets as long as you can curve this sheet metal. So basically this will this will sit right on here like so and then you can put your your uh, your torch right up against it and, and make straight cuts and I'll show you that in a minute and then the other thing I've done is when you have to make curves like this right here um, you can do that freehand uh, most people are, are pretty good at it um, I can do it pretty well but I prefer to uh, to be a little more accurate and, and just it's less less work for me to pick up my uh, my four and a half inch grinder so what I did was I went ahead and I, I got a piece of a uh, one eighth by one flat bar, uh, real simple stuff to get a hold of, and uh, I simply uh, bent it so it would match this contour here. And so what I'm going to do is lay this up against like like so, uh, far enough away for the uh, the torch head and the torch tip to actually hit the black line here. And then I'm going to use these low dollar uh, welding magnets to hold it in place for me, so they'll snap on like this and like this basically. And then I'll just that, then I have something to push up against with the torch. And it should give me the, the contour basically that I'm looking for uh, and, and uh, allow me less cleanup to do, which uh, that's, that's really kind of what it's all about. So uh, with that, I'm going to get uh, ready to go and uh, we'll do some cuts. Okay, so what I've done here is I've gone ahead and positioned this where I want it. And it gives me uh, the distance away from the, the tip to the, uh, the side of the, uh, the torch there. So you, as you can see, I'll follow this along. It will actually follow the line pretty nicely. So I'm going to go ahead and cut that out and then I'll use my straight edge to cut these straight edges out and uh, create the part real quick. Here's our piece cut out, as you can see, and uh, I'm going to take you out to the car and show you exactly where I put this piece and uh, you're going to see exactly how, uh, how it was created and what it was created for. <laughs> 